Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Wednesday. It's our final Wednesday, our final Wednesday warm-up with the video journal. So good to see everybody. And uh, let me share my screen with you guys. And uh, hey, look at this. I'm actually in core four for once. I'm always in core one. But this is core four. As you can see our nice little picture here. Go to the green folder. Click on that. Scroll all the way down. So today's Wednesday, the second. Uh, so again, our video, and it's kind of a short one. It's really cool though. It says, explain your experience with this visual test in comparison to your classmates. So you have to talk to some people. So if you're in here, you can talk amongst yourselves. If you're at home, remind me to open the private chat so you guys can talk to people or even public for that matter. So you can kind of get an idea of what happened with them with the visual test. And then it says, uh, based on what you watched, what have you learned about your own eyesight? Okay, this is really cool. So here we go. Curious how good your eyesight is? Take a look at this image. Who do you see? If you're at a normal viewing distance from the screen and have decent eyesight, you should be seeing Albert Einstein. However, if you see Marilyn Monroe, you may want to consider wearing glasses or contacts. Wearing your glasses right now? Try taking them off and the image may change. Or if you're near somebody else, ask them what they see. The effect can actually be seen by anyone if we change the distance or size of the picture. If it's far away, you're more likely to see Marilyn Monroe, as our eyes only pick up the broader strokes of an image from a distance. But as you come closer to the image, you see the finer details of Einstein. We promise we haven't changed anything digitally. In fact, pause this video now and try walking away from your computer screen. Chances are the image will change, and at a different distance than your friends because our eyes are all slightly different. So it says to pause. Oops, all that stuff came up. But yeah, I mean, if you, I, I did, I remember doing this at the smart board last year or something. As you walk away, you see the woman. I don't know if you know who Marilyn Monroe is, but you step away and you can see her. And as you walk closer, you see Mr. Albert Einstein. I'll unpause here. The further away you can stand and still see Einstein, the better your eyes likely are. You can achieve the same effect by squinting your eyes to blur the photo. So, what's going on? Well, this image is an example of a hybrid image, whereby a low spatial frequency of one picture is combined with a high spatial frequency of another. But depending on how well you're able to focus or pick up contrast, your eye will only pick out certain details. Up close, we're generally able to see fine details like Einstein's mustache and wrinkles. But as the distance increases, or if your vision is poor and thus creates a more blurred image in the first place, your ability to pick up details fades away. Instead, you only see the general features like the shape of a mouth, nose, and hair, making it seem like Marilyn Monroe. Love tricking your brain with illusions? We've put together a playlist of our favorite ones that you can watch by clicking the screen. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe for more weekly science videos. You know, I just saw the moon illusion. I used to teach about that, so I used to I don't think it was this video, but I used to share some stuff about the moon illusion. But if you guys get a chance to check out any of those other ones, they're pretty cool. Actually, that was so, that's very short, but really cool. I almost want to see more. So, uh, so just take some time to, you know, pause this video and go ahead and write your comment. Uh, but cool stuff. Yeah. I encourage you guys to look at some of those other videos. They're really cool. So, uh, let me pause real quick, or I'll let you guys pause real quick. All right, and we're back. Uh, just put this first because it's the last day for some extra credit. Okay. I got to get my grades in. So, uh, we can play the quizzes quiz. Does that sound right? We can play the game, I guess, tomorrow, Friday, or even, thir uh, fr sorry, tomorrow's Thursday or Friday, or both for that matter. Uh, we can play that. That'd be a lot of fun. So uh, yeah, today's your last day. Remember, you got the Google form here. Uh, put your name, first and last name here, all this information. I made a video on like what to do here. So when you get a chance, if you guys want to do the extra credit, if you haven't done it yet, just go ahead and click play and, and watch that. And hopefully that helps out. Otherwise, I can. Otherwise, I mean, there's a movie called Gravity, which just does a few iffy parts to it, but the rest of it's really, really good, and it shows uh, physics in a really nice way. There's a lot of accuracies. I mean, it's fictional, but uh, there's a lot of accuracies to what we know of physics, science these days, so it's really cool. gives you a lot of anxiety, too, so we can play that uh, and also have a game kit for those of you guys who want to play that off on the side or, or, or a different game if you want to. It's fine, but please let me know. All right, have a great day. That's all I have, so uh, we're making it. We're almost there. Enjoy. Yeah, watch those other videos, too, if you get a chance. I mean, I want to watch them right now. It's kind of sad, but I do. All right. Have a great day. Have a great Wednesday. Hope the weather holds up. Take care. Bye-bye.